Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Need to 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So we have the official Call of Duty Black Ops 4 reveal trailer. And the biggest thing out of it, which affects me personally, is no single player campaign. Lame. That's lame. <laughs> I, I, I know lame. a lot of people jump straight into multiplayer. I always play campaigns. It was fun. I like the storylines. And, and Call of Duty, for all it's worth, had really cool set pieces. Yes. There would always be like a mission where, you know, there's a helicopter chasing after you're on a train. You have to like all do all this cool movie theater yeah. type, super blockbuster movie type things. Exactly. Now they they just, I guess they're putting all that focus on multiplayer because you can sell loot boxes, you can sell skins, you can sell stuff, and it's, that's where all the money is. It's the hot ticket right yeah. now because you got the PUBG and Fortnite. Fortnite, you have these oh. uh, games that are just, um, the whole games as a service. Yeah, I hate that. Uh, then you have the Overwatches, and oh, mm-hmm. even though it technically it's for a good cause, and in Overwatch you can buy a skin for Mercy for breast cancer awareness was fifteen dollars. Oh, they've already made like like they said they donated like whatever X amount of thousands yeah. of dollars. Oh. But it's like I'm not. I got actually won Overwatch for free. That's the only reason why I ever played it. But I haven't played it in months. Yeah, I just yeah. I don't like not having real progression. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. And skins aren't progression. No. I want make I you want to grow and like see that you've, you're accomplishing things and you don't in that game. And also I remember the I remember one of the old Call of Duty's one of my favorite moments of the older games is when you uh, get when you beat the game on story mode which they don't have unfortunately anymore but they'd be in a museum. Yeah. Like at things and you start you shoot at the things they shoot back at you and you just get destroyed. There are just fun little things I like that. I think my favorite is Black Ops 2 it was probably my mm-hmm. favorite Black yeah. Ops. And I've always preferred the Black Ops games over the regular Call of yeah, Duty games. games. But things started getting silly, and they're adding all these abilities. And it looks like they're gonna they're embracing. Yeah. They're looking at what every other game does, and they're just saying, "Oh, let's do that." But in Call of Duty, yeah, exactly. So you're having more of these characters that are character based, like Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. they so have they personality, have a, and they even stole abilities, like seeing through walls, yeah. like. And again, it model and it has a little voiceover, it's just like an Overwatch. Yeah, you, you, I expect you to say, "Here comes the cavalry, love." I was expecting to hear, and it almost, it almost has even a Destiny feel to it at times. Um, yeah. And then they also took the shielding and the portable walls from uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, and just for me personally, whenever they add shields to games, I hate when they're one hundred percent invulnerable. Yeah, I, I can understand they're able to block everything up to like a regular machine gun, but it should take damage and break and fall apart. Exactly, like in, like in Destiny Two, and they have they brought the shield thing up. The and barrier you can, you can destroy it. It's easy. You just keep shooting at it, and it breaks. I just don't like the idea that oh, someone can shoot the rocket launcher and your shield can take it. Yeah, boom. I hate that. Hopefully, they make the shields destructible or at least take damage, or you take reduced damage. Yeah. So technically, you still be killed. But yeah. I don't know that they didn't do that last time. For with the me, shows. I mm-hmm. haven't played the Call of Duty in a while. I've kind of broke off the Ghost Recon. I like those better. It's just yeah, it, and the thing is, and so they're kind of do everything that everyone else is doing. Then they announced that so there's going to be the straight up regular Call of Duty. We all know yeah, multiplayer. Yeah. Multiplayer. There's going to be the zombies mode. There's just going to be three zombie campaigns. I don't like the zombie games. I know. I oh, suck no. at them. I guess they said they're adding AI so you don't have to play with other people. Oh, okay. But here's the thing. I suck at the zombie games. I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm not a bad first-person shooter player. I can't get my head around the zombie crap. I always end up losing. Yeah. Like, I just can't get it. Like, I don't understand. I, yeah. I, I suck at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, they're having, so that's like the single player is the zombie mode. Oh, yeah. Then they're having uh, a mode called Blackout, which is just a battle royale mode. So it's going to be a gigantic map. With a bunch of people on it. And unlike Fortnite, this is going to have vehicles. But these, So then it's like PUBG. So it's like something in the middle between PUBG and Fortnite. Yeah. And I necessarily... Um, I've never played well, Fortnite. Yeah. I, will, I will give PUBG a chance when it gets on sale and it's really cheap. Like, I'm talking like $5 cheap. Yeah. Because it's realistic and has real weapons. I don't like Fortnite. It's all silly and cartoony. And that's not... It's just not my flavor. But I'm not a... I just think the idea, like, again, if there's no real progression, if I'm not unlocking guns, and if everything is just cosmetic, I don't know if I'm going to like it. And this. no yeah. offense, I did not like the trailer for the Battle Royale. Yeah, they're talking I'm about sending. it. Oh, well, well we're going to do something completely original. Dude, this whole concept, everything about this is... Not saying that you can't take someone else's idea and do it better, but don't say original. Because then it's just, yeah. you just, you're just opening yourself up for criticism for that. Yeah, just say, you know... We're, but he does say, oh, we're, this is a Battle Royale, the Black Ops way. Say that, because it's yeah. true. Oh, we'll take this, this other thing that other people have been doing, and we're going to do it our way. Mm-hmm. Don't say we're being original because you're not. Not don't, even close. The, the co-concept isn't original. Exactly. But here's the thing, yeah. though. Is it going to be the one hit, the one death? 
and then you, and your team. Oh, I don't that, know. Oh, that but suck. that's how those games are played. Yeah, that's and, 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 and the thing is, I don't like the fact this all feels shoehorned. Like, this wasn't an original thing. It's just all being forced. Let's do everything that's popular and put elements and put it, and we'll make it better. It's like... Yeah, sometimes uh, making a smoothie tastes really, really good. But when you start adding ingredients that initially shouldn't be added together, you might end up with something really gross. Yeah, yeah. or it's like, you, yeah, you have a, p- a pizzeria and you want to start serving tacos because that's the hot thing. You don't, yeah, you're, you're going against what your original <laughs> thing is. Yeah, you're, just you, do what Call of Duty does best. St- Amazing story fast, mode. F- uh, and, a fa- and fast-paced multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. And and then you have like a guy with a grappling hook and stuff. It's like, I don't know about all these special yeah. powers and... Ah, and you build it up just like an Overwatch where you get to a certain point then you can activate your ultimate but they don't call it that but that's what it is yeah. and it's like bleh I don't know Call of Duty uh, and, and a game with no single player campaign I bet you that's in 60 bucks though oh yeah oh. Say. and it's crazy too like um, Chris was saying before he even started this uh, part of the podcast he goes how come is it the fact what if one's more popular than the other game mode you just get stopped yeah. what if everyone stop, stops stop. playing team deathmatch and just wants to go play the the battle royale mode well you have to develop time for that like how are they gonna it's a yeah, mess yeah would you stop those servers I mean would that, that wouldn't be fair to the people that like playing that mode yeah I don't know it's so, I, I don't I don't like the idea of copying someone and, battle royale is a fad yeah and it, I, as soon as the youtubers find the next thing to play it's gonna go away yeah and since it is 100% multiplayer focused, I think it'll have a longer shelf life. But eventually, like the Minecrafts, uh, the Undertales, all those games that were like, oh, this is the hot ticket. Everyone loves it. But after a while, it gets old and people move on. Give it yeah. about three, four more months. I-, I think Battle Royale will still be famous, but I think Fortnite will start to lose its throne. Because you never see, you don't sit on the throne forever. No. No, no one does. No. Nope. And eventually, it's going to start to slip. And then maybe people start playing this Call of Duty one, and this one starts to take over. And then there'll be yeah. a PUBG Part 2, and it'll be a never-ending race. But with every iteration, it's going to be a little less, a little less, a little less. Exactly. Yeah, and then they'll find a whole new genre for them. To I like to talk it. I like to, uh, do, uh, I like to take that to, like, Guitar Hero, <laughs> in yeah. effect. Yeah. And after a while, it got old, and no one wanted it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, and so this leaves us with the question of what is Battlefield going to do? Because they did Battlefield um, 1 last, yeah. which was the old-school World War One. Do they do a Battle Royale? Battlefield, do they jump on board too? But if you think about it, they have big giant conquest maps, and if you just did it down to one life, it already is a battle royale. Yeah, they, they it already lend itself to a battle As, royale. Except for are they gonna add the thing like, oh, you start out oh. with just a pistol and you have to find your weapons and Oh, yeah. that would suck. But that's how these battle royale because games are played. The, the only problem I see with that is PUBG, I guess because it's like a battle royale, everyone's finding stuff, so fine, whatever. These games don't make sense. Like why would you go you're part of the military, you're gonna just go with no weapon? Oh, I just got my pistol. Thank oh, you. super secret under yeah, hops. Exactly. We got a frying pan. Oh, and a pickaxe. So and you jump and jump out of a bus. What? Yeah, flying <laughs> bus. See, but that's the thing about Fortnite. It's so silly. I just can't get into it. Yeah. yeah. I just, I, my nephews play it to death. So if you ever see, if you ever happen to see any of my gamer tags or anything on Fortnite, be sure it is not me. It is my nephews. I guarantee you, I will never play that game. They play it's, so much. It's crazy. But um, I, it's kind of sad to see everyone chasing it now. Yeah, Guys. it's not a good fad. First of all, it's just not for me. No. It's not for me. It, it truly, truly is not for me. I like I said, PUBG is the only one that kind of interests me because it's realistic looking as real weapons. Yeah, I don't like stupid, silly, uh, cartoony Looney Tunes graphics. J- jumping on the rocket and f- flying around the map and, and using my pickaxe to knock out trees and build shelters. I don't want to do any of that. How about how about, how about you, you? know, you should jump on the rocket and then you should have a cowboy hat and then reenact Doctor Strange Love. <laughs> that makes about as much sense as this. Uh, but um, I'm waiting to see what Battlefield does because I've always liked Battlefield, Battlefield. over Call of Duty. Yeah. And I want to see if they've chased that Battle Royale thing, because that's EA, and they're always all about doing that. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. But EA's in a lot of heat for that. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.